and welcome everybody here in Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube watching this video later on for some Jeskai Divine Fires. That's what I'm calling this deck. Um, I realize I definitely misspelled Divine right here because I just looked at that and I was like, that is not correct. But, oh well. All right, so we got our, our video started off well. <laughs> but anyway, um, so calling this Divine Fires because we are a Divine Visitation and Fires of Invention deck. So basically, we're, we're Jeskai Control, um, where we have a token sub-theme, because we're trying to make tokens and then have all of our tokens be 4-4 four, four creatures. And so I think this, this makes a lot of sense, to have uh, Divine Visitation paired with Fires of Invention, because a problem with Divine Visitation is, you know, this is a clunky 5-mana card that you play it and you don't really do anything else. But five, Fires of Invention allows us to play clunky 5-mana cards uh, because we get to do two things a turn. So we can play Divine Visitation plus play something else um, and make some tokens immediately and make them be 4-4s. Four so uh, in the main deck, we have Legion Warboss and Chandra Acolyte of Flame. Those are ma main ways to make 4-4s, four especially, um, well, both both of them make haste 4-4s four because, you know, they, they say they make haste 1-1s, one -ones, but they make haste 4-4s. Four <laughs> yeah, it's not really a control deck, but I don't know. We, we just got sweepers and stuff. Um, then, of course, we have the Fae of Wishes uh, to be able to unlock our sideboard, where we have our fourth Fires of Invention, our fourth Divine Visitation, and then just some other good cards, including Garrick that can make some more. Four, you know, gets to make two 4-4s four also for us there. Uh, Ugin, I guess it's... Yeah, it's a token. So, yeah, that turns into a 4-4. Four, four. And then another Chandra over here to make other 4-4s, four, four, other haste 4-4s. Four, so, you know, like, that's what we're doing. We're trying to kill people in the air quickly. Um, and that's what our deck's all about. So, let's give it a try. We also have, like, the, the white castles that can make 4-4s uh, four, as well. Because, you know, we don't you don't get to cast things with Fires of Invention. So, you want Mana Sing. So, we have the white castles and blue castles to be able to use. Um, to be able to get extra value as well. All right. You ready to go, Hawkeye? All right, Hawkeye's ready. So during these, um, for these donation decks, this is, a, this is a viewer submitted deck here. We go ahead and play a league, see if we can get to five wins before two losses, see what happens first. So here we go. Hey, <laughs> yeah, tokens will still die though but as it oh yeah so even the angels get sacrificed at end step thanks as it thanks for the support our seventh sub of the day three away from our sub goal Let's go ahead and mulligan. I think we need a little bit more land than that. All right, we got got our land. I think I can just get rid of Fabled Passage. Maybe we can just kind of keep these four lands. I could get rid of Mountain also. I think, I think we're going to get rid of Fabled Passage, though. I'm going to lead with Howl of Fountain. We're probably not playing, like, I think we can fit this in turn two or turn three, but I want to see, like, what we're playing against. Um, so I have a better, I, I need to have more information before I just scry. No, Chandra, the Chandra ones aren't permanent. I probably want Clarion against Black Lance Paragon deck. <laughs> yeah, what would Hawkeye's ultimate be if Hawkeye was a Planeswalker? Yeah, I like the yeah, Exile Everything. Yeah, Hawkeye just 
just throw it because he's always like throwing stuff off of the off of like my counter here but yeah he would just you know throw throw stuff off the battlefield basically like the realm cloak giant like that animation except for it's just a big hawkeye paw moving stuff over Oh yeah, the ultimate could just be you in the game. All right, definitely taking fires. And then, I guess I only have one white source right now for visitation. Oh, well, we'll, still, we'll take our namesake cards. Castle can find us more white sources. Oh wait, we don't, we don't need more white sources because we just play fires, then we get to play visitation. What am I thinking? Yeah, we don't need to bite. I'm going to go fires Clarion here. They're a smitten sword master deck trying to drain us and everything. Okay. Um. I know this isn't a. This isn't a sexy play, but I think I just get this Chandra. And play it in minus two and exile this Midnight Reaper. And then we still have the Chandra out and everything. All right, looking for little Chandra. Hey, there's little Chandra. Ooh, and White Castle. White Castle's pretty good. No, we don't have like the the white man to activate White Castle. Never mind. Let's go. Just let me burn. Let's go. Haste Angels. Uh I should have ticked up this Chandra first. Good luck while I'm gone. It's all good. Just, you just walk it off, Chandra. Yeah, just, just walk it off. They're down to seven. Just need to find another Chandra. Let's 
Scry bottom, scry bottom. Upkeep. So that's six damage. All right, well, well, we'll have Fae of Wishes for our other Chandra. But yeah, I should have gave them the emblem before. This thing can attack for four, of course. This makes it. This makes a haste um, token. Should be good to go here. Yeah, so the reason why it says if sacrifice two red elementals, why do the angels get sacked? Because it's basically just like the placeholder of sacrifice those objects. Um, like this even just says sacrifice them at the, you know, like it's sacrifice those objects. All right, well, Order of Midnight can't block. I'm going to no smitten swordmaster over there. They had to have a two mana removal. I don't know if their decks are really playing two mana removal, like instant speed removal. All right, so this is definitely a good lava coil matchup. They love getting their creatures back. It's a good time wipe matchup also. <laughs> Jank is real. Um, I shouldn't play all the sweepers. Let's put a time white back in the sideboard. So this is 62. Kind of want to just take out two war boss. Maybe not. Maybe war bosses are good here, though. I'm not sure exactly what we want to take out. Like maybe prison realm? I guess Coil is just kind of upgrading Prison Realm. Yeah, this could definitely be a, a pretty decent best of one deck, especially if you can have enough like sweepers and things like that, like anti-aggro stuff. Game one, we saw, um, you know, we played the the Fae of Wishes deck and best of one previously, and it. Uh, it was really impressive. Like, I think Fae of Wishes control is a really good best of one option. Uh... 
So with with one land, we can play Prison Realm and Scry to help look for another land. The Fae surviving uh, Clarion is is really nice. Well, I already molded it to six. I'm keeping this over going to five. But yeah, I don't, I don't really like this hand either. And yeah, worst case scenario, we can just play Fae to block with. We're 25 land deck. I like that. I like that we have 25 lands. I don't like that we haven't found any lands. My opponent is is staying with me though. They decided not to play lands either. And you're ahead, opponent. The ham's perfect. It was like a turn three kill. I don't I don't know why would we ever mulligan a turn three kill. It was too good. Oh, I could see that. I could see like that I should have taken out Shock instead of Realm because the Exile. Turn three kill. Ugh. Scry. Ooh. You can scry me a river. I'm going to keep this draw from dreams. Uh oh. That was a really fast spectral sailor. Yeah. Civic Flash matchup. This is what... <clears throat> this is what uh, clunky decks do not want to play against. The Simic Flash. The boss. We got the boss in. <laughs> Leaving Spectral Sailor back to block. So yeah, they they get to do this to kill War Boss. But then I can I get to resolve stuff. Right? So like I don't mind that that happens cuz I get to resolve things now. So that's why I attacked with the war boss because I wanted to invite my opponent to uh, block there. Yeah, if they don't have borrower here. Ooh. Like I did. 
Hmm. Bait with boss. It's excessive to have four Garrick and four Vraskas in a Golgari ramp control kind of deck. I'm trying to make a good deck and don't want to waste the only few wild cards I have. Um, probably like the the four Garrick. Uh, I could see playing the four mini Vraskas. I could definitely see playing that, but I think the four six drops. That's probably that's excessive. There. Especially because you you know when you have one in play, another one doesn't particularly help. Whoops. I just realized I chose the wrong one. I meant to choose the goblin, of course. I chose the wrong one. Again, I wanted to try to bait a wolf attack. Ugh. A wolf block. There. I was trying to, to bait a wolf block. Yeah, I, I think yeah, having two Garrick, two Liliana, then four Vraska is a better idea. Um... Can also play Ugin as well. That's an option there as well. All right. Well, that that didn't work for me. Alright, I don't get to play both anyway. Those cards are going to do it. Pack ambush are so good. Mm. 
Hmm. Well, the... Not interested in Clarion at all. So I guess I'll play... I mean, I guess we just play Veto, even though it doesn't... Veto doesn't counter very much, but it counters some things. So Acolyte of Flame... It's going to be a tough matchup. This Acolyte of Flame, like, isn't good unless... Unless we have Visitation in play. I'm taking out all these prison realms. I'm taking out cards that actually kill the wolf. Yeah, I could definitely see that playing some Teferis in the sideboard for this type of matchup. Yeah, I could definitely see that. Yeah, I could definitely see that. Am I supposed to mulligan this? Yeah, we got the scry. Not even a wolf. There's, a, there's only like one counter spell in their deck that they're going to be playing to counter the Fae of Wishes there, just that negate. So I wanted to fire that off now, like before they had um, three or four mana up, because, you know, before they have Sinister Sabotage and Thrilled Mystic and a lot more counter spells available. Hopefully one of these time wipe resolves. Yay, no wolf. That also helps. Sorry, Ascoria. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's definitely enough. 
Yeah, like that's that's enough removal and ramp. I I don't like I don't like Leyline Prowler. And Wicked Wolf, I don't like Wicked Wolf either. Because <clears throat> you don't, like, Wicked Wolf isn't good in that deck. You don't have, you don't have um, the food for it. Like, you have just four goose. That's not, that's not, like, actually playing food. I don't like Prowler or Wicked Wolf. Where's our lands at? All right, we need to draw some lands. Uh, I think I'm playing Simic Wishes tomorrow, or like whenever we're doing the event, maybe tomorrow, maybe Sunday, something. I think I'm playing. Uh, I think that's what I'm playing, is Simic Wishes. I could make a Jeskai control with Fey and I could make a Jeskai control for best of one that I think I think I could make a good best of best of one Jeskai control deck. Maybe that's better than Simic Wishes, because we've seen how powerful Fey and Fires are together. But of course, it'd, I'd have to play like four Teferis. I'd have to try to slow down Simic Flash. That's the main thing. Got to be good enough against Simic Flash. The heck is that thing? I think that's a three drop that doesn't die to Clarion. You're thinking Wolves because the synergy with Garrick's minus six. There, there is no synergy there. I mean, it's just a, it's a creature. There's no specific synergy. I mean, I guess at, like once when you Garrick minus six, you're gonna be, you're probably gonna be winning the game. So I think you're you're good whenever you do that. You don't really need to worry about having cards that work well after you Garrick minus six. Uh, stop playing these things that don't die to Clarion. Why does it have to have this extra counter? Why can't it just be a 4-4? Four, four? Let's trample. <sighs> I don't really see a way to give... Like, the problem is I can't instant speed Clarion. Like, we can make, like, you know, like a 4-4. Four, four. I guess the 4-4 four, four has Vigilance, right? And so it sticks around.
I was putting myself dead to another spawn of mayhem. Just play, just play, um, I don't, I don't know, Ascoria, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm busy, I don't know. No, okay. I'm sorry. Alright, we're gonna need a time wipe. Do I have any way to deal with the Great Hinge casualties? And I'll leave that over in the sideboard. I like Prison Realm. I think shocks are probably going to be too small. So I think we take out shocks. I don't I don't know exactly what to, to put in your in your deck. I don't know. Um, I mean questing beast is amazing. Uh, I'd have to, you know, really go through and look. I was just telling you some cards I don't like. I think I think there's better options than those. But I, I don't know exactly, like, the best cards to play. I'm sorry. Off the top of my head. But there there's better removal spells than Wicked Wolf. All right, well, our, our hand can be anything. Um, you know, it can be anything. Shimmer of Possibility, like, cards like this can mess up your mulligan decisions a little bit because, you know, we may think that, okay, well, we got two good cards in hand in this hand with the war boss, but we may also just have nothing. We don't really know yet. Speaking of questing beast. So time wipe and visitation. Those are the two that I'm looking at here. Um Yeah, I mean, I I would take either one. Like they're they're both pretty good. Um, you know, we're getting a white source with a fabled passage. We're probably I'll just take the time wipe. Still looking for like fires of invention. Oh yeah, mate. I guess the viewer counter is kind of broken, isn't it? Um, it says I see it says zero as well. All right, so we can fires plus time wipe next turn. Well, 
Look, looks like the opponent's playing around. Time wipe, not playing anything else. That doesn't mean I'm not going to play it, though. I think I should take one of these six mana planeswalkers. I guess Ugin. These creatures are too big. Why did none of them die to Clarion? Yeah, Garrick draws a card immediately. Ugin. Ugin has higher upside if it sticks around, though. I went with that, but... We definitely could have gone with the... Just go with the Ugin, though. Um... Okay, okay. We have to actually kill something. Kinda wanna go Garrick and make two two twos. I think they're playing. Yeah, I think we can find a visitation. I don't think it'll be too difficult to find a visitation. You're not scared of dogs, are you? If their plan is just to like attack and then activate and then play this rider, we can Clarion ult Garrick and then go war boss. Then our war boss is making four fours. Wow. I'll survive this. So casualties of wartime.
creature, artifact, land. <clears throat> All right, we're we're not really doing our thing. Our whole divine visitation thing. Oh no. I need to leave Fae of Wishes back to block. Got wrinkled. Alright, that wasn't so bad. Visitation, Chandra. All right, next turn. Next turn, we're gonna do the thing. Yeah, we're we're doing. We were doing things, but not, but not the real thing. We're gonna have triple angel. That was a pretty bad attack by my opponent. I think just having the blocker is more useful. Like looking at this battlefield, I'd rather much rather have that blocker. It's just a really bad attack. Alright, do the thing. Yeah, we did it. Okay, game number three. Let's try to keep this going. Yeah, fly over with the Chandra. The spells cost zero because of Fires of Invention. It says that you can cast stuff for free, but you can only cast two things a turn, and the things that you cast for free have to be have to have CMC less than or equal to the number of lands you control. <laughs> the most accurate oops I've ever seen in Arena. Slow hand, but really powerful. Basically just hoping my opponent doesn't kill me immediately. E Yeah, I think yeah, Twitch is is bugged. It just says zero viewers for for right now, and I guess people are saying it's doing that for everybody. No. Why turn three questing beast? Why? That is not slow. That is not slow at all. Oh, y'all see 737? Hmm. I see, yeah, I see zero over here. 
Um. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing against this beast. <laughs> Why doesn't Clarion actually kill anything? All right, I'll, I'll refresh my chat. So now it still says zero. You never use your mana when you don't have a castle, so instead of one war boss, a Dawn of Hope could be better. Yeah, I yeah. I mean, yeah, I could I could definitely see playing a Dawn of Hope in this deck. Um Dawn of Hope doesn't make haste creatures like War Boss does. So obviously that's just gonna end this game my clarion can't kill anything I guess I needed to cast Drawn from Dreams and look for White Source plus um, White Source plus Time Wipe. There, I was hoping that I was hoping just to, to you know try to try to stay alive and you know like take out the the two one so that they could only attack for four and then the next turn do that go Drawn from Dreams look for land Time Wipe because um, you know we, we just need any land at that point because you, know, you just got to have five lands but yeah they had the trophy to kill fire so I had to Drawn from Dreams. The turn before, um, so yeah, like that. They just that deck just hits so hard, and Clarion doesn't kill stuff. You know, they got turn three Questing Beast. It's you know Questing Beast, Spawn of Mayhem, Rotting Regisaur. It's like how do we kill their creatures? It's, it's so tough. Um, so yeah, like those, those are just really big creatures there. Um. And then, you know, the flash deck. The flash deck is our our decks, you know, like that's just really tough for us. Um, I'm glad we had the extra time wipes. Um, I don't know, like we could play like the deck, like, you know, we could be playing like Justice Strikes as far as removal. Like Justice Strikes would be like cheaper removal spells that would kill all of those things. Um, so, you know, like if that if those kind of things do become popular, maybe instead of playing like shock that only does two damage, maybe playing justice strike. There's not like tons of aggro and stuff where shock actually kills a lot of things these days, honestly. And so like with having also, you know, like with having Clarion anyway, with having Clarion to, to clean up little creatures, maybe, maybe that's the thing to do is just play at least split like shock and justice strike maybe. Um, cause like justice strike also kills the wolf, you know, like the night pack ambusher was just a really hard card to deal with. And this actually kills like the wolf instant speed. Um, also they flash in a wolf. We could kill it. Um, yeah, like this, this may be like the card in this metagame. It does not kill Golos. 
but I mean, shock doesn't kill Golos. It doesn't kill. Yeah, I mean, little like it's like little things you can kill with Clarion anyway. That that could be the that could be a change to make is is just play Justice Strike. The, the meta game's kind of gone away from small creatures with aggro not being real great. It doesn't shock can kill Knight of the Ebon Legion. This does not kill Knight of the Ebon Legion. But again, that's you have Clarion, and you have time wipe and stuff. I could I could see Justice Strike being awesome. Yeah, it kills basically everything that was killing us. Justice Strike kills. Why not play the giant with adventure? I mean, I guess we you could main deck. Um, you know, you want you want time wipe in the sideboard because of Feo wishes the giant you can't grab. Um, time wipe does work well with Fey and War Boss also though picking those back up. Um, time wipe works really well with that. I think that's more important than like sometimes having a seven seven. I think I'd rather just have the time wipe. Um, yeah, it doesn't doesn't kill murderous rider, but again, murderous rider dies to like Clarion. So yeah, maybe maybe that's a thing to do. Maybe just I know I've played like you know been playing just like Bone Crusher Giants and like different like gruel decks and everything, and I've been like really disappointed in just two damage. Like two damage isn't killing like all the things that I wanted to to do to kill. Um, it's just not doing enough. So maybe Justice Strike. Chandra should be Narset. No, Chandra's our win con. Like Chandra, like the win con of this deck is like Chandra with War Boss and Visitation. Um, could definitely be like a Jeskai control deck with like Narset to Fairy and you know go from there. Um, but no, like this this is a this is a divine deck, divine visitation deck. So like we use these to kill our opponents. And you can you can do some serious racing with that. You know, like you can um, you know like that kills people really fast. You know, Chandra is bringing in eight power uh, that. You know, that can race some, you know, like Field of the Dead decks and stuff like that, too. Uh, for sure. Like, you, you can kill people quite quickly. Um, but there we go. All right. So that's that's uh, Jes that's Jeskai Divine Fires. Um, yeah, maybe just the more I think about it, maybe Justice Strike is just a really good removal spell these days. You know, we'll see. All right, so if you're watching the video later on YouTube, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there and also leave some comments. Let me know what you think of the deck, what you think of like Justice Strike as the removal spell of choice. Um, you know, like if there's anything we're missing like in the sideboard, anything like that, um, you know, and, and everything and uh, everything else, you know, let, let me know, leave some comments. Um, but thanks so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.